All right, thank you. Uh, Deputy Chief Paul Humphrey, Louisville Metro Police. Again, at 8.30 this morning, approximately 8.30 this morning, uh, Louisville Metro Safe received a report of shots fired and a possible active shooter at 333 East Main Street at the Old National Bank. Within three minutes of being dispatched, officers arrived on scene and encountered the suspect almost immediately still firing gun gunshots. Officers exchanged gunshots with that suspect and ultimately that suspect did die at the scene. We are trying to confirm if that suspect died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound or was killed by officers at this time. At least two officers were shot during this exchange of, of gunfire. One is currently in surgery at University of Louisville Hospital. At least four more victims were confirmed to be deceased inside the location, as well as eight that are now currently being treated at the University Hospital. Two are critical, one of those being the officer. We're currently working to identify all of the victims, work with their families for reunification and provide services to the families and the victims. The investigation, I want to re reiterate, is ongoing. This will be a, a long scene. It will take uh, pretty much into the night. Um, so I still ask that the public avoid the area. I want to reiterate that there is no active threat. Uh, we believe this is a lone uh, gunman involved in this that did have a connection to the bank. We're trying to establish what that connection was to the business, but it appears he was a previous employee. Um, it is clear from the officer's response that they absolutely saved people's lives. This is a tragic event, uh, but it was, it was the heroic response of officers that made sure that no more people were more seriously injured than what happened. Uh, we will continue to provide updates uh, as soon as possible. We will have another press briefing following this at 3 p.m. today. I will turn it over to Mayor Craig Greenberg at this time. Thank you, Deputy Chief Humphrey. First, I ask that everyone around our city, around the country, around the world, pray with us for those who are currently at U of L Hospital injured, fighting for their lives as a result of another act of gun violence. And I want to thank all of the first responders, the, the brave and heroic men and women of LMPD, who thanks to their efforts, quickly responded to the emergency call. And as you information we are able to provide as the day goes on. But I want everyone in this city to know that notwithstanding tragedies like today, when multiple people are killed by gun violence, notwithstanding tragedies when individuals are killed by gun violence, our community will continue to come together. We will find ways to love and support one another and the families and friends who have been directly impacted by these acts of gun violence. And we will come together as a community to work to prevent these horrific acts of gun violence from continuing here and around the state. I want to thank again everyone at LMPD from the Louisville Fire Department, from EMS, from the state agencies and now federal agencies that are also involved. We are a safer community. We are a stronger community thanks to the work of our law enforcement. And again, my prayers go out to the families who have lost loved ones today. My prayers go out to the officers who are at the hospital right now, and my thanks for all of them. Through, with, together, we will get through this together. Finally, I want to introduce Governor Bashir, who has joined us and who is assisting with the efforts. Governor? I want to start by thanking the brave heroes in LMPD and our other responding organizations. 
LMPD made it to this scene in a matter of minutes after receiving the call, and there is no doubt in my mind that their efforts saved lives and they put their own on the line. And we have at least one officer in surgery right now that is there because he took those actions to try to protect the people of Louisville. I want to thank Louisville Fire, Louisville Metro EMS, and Emergency Management and the Louisville Sheriff's Office for the immediate response. They've now been joined by the FBI, ATF, Homeland Security, Kentucky State Police have requested in the Louisville Office of Safe and Healthy Neighborhoods in this response. This is awful. I have a very close friend that didn't make it today. And I have another close friend who didn't either, and one who's at the hospital that I hope is, is going to make it through. So when we talk about praying, I hope people will. For those that we are hoping can make it through the surgeries that they're going through, and then we've got to do what we have done these last three years after everything. We've got to wrap our arms around these families. And to everybody who needs it, don't be afraid to get some help. Our bodies and our minds are not meant to go through these types of tragedies. And so I hope that all the brave officers that stepped into the line of fire that are worried about one of their fellow officers will reach out for help when they need it. I hope every one of those bank employees and folks in that building, one that I know well, and my AG campaign was out of that building, I know virtually everyone in it, that's my bank. I hope that they will all reach out and get the help that they need. There are a lot of people that are hurting today. And if we have a place to focus our energy, I hope it is to surround them with the love and the compassion uh, that we have been so good at showing uh, one another. I want people to know that while today is a horrific act, I do believe that this is a safe community with officers doing their very best each and every day, and that's what we saw here. Yes, I know that there are steps that the police department is taking to do things better after a recent report, but we certainly saw, I think, the very best from them today, and I want to thank them and all our other law enforcement officers for responding and doing their best to try to save some of my friends and many others. Thank you all. Any questions? Uh, the other one, it appears to be uh, uh, non-critical injuries at this time. I'm not sure on the status of that yet. That'd be part of the investigation. Excuse me? It appears the shooter was, a, I don't know if it was an active employee or a former employee, but the shooter did have a connection to the, to the location. No. Don't know that. He asked, was there any form of security at the bank? We don't know that either. That'll be part of the investigation. So one more. We, we have resources available to make sure the rest of the city is kept safe, and I do want to reiterate that. We are managing our resources with the state, local, and federal partners to make sure that all services to the city maintain while we are maintaining this scene at, at the same time. So thank you. The next update will be at 3 o'clock. Thank you. Let's go.